One of the biggest problems I see with people who have a lot of debt is not having a plan to pay it off other than just making the minimum payments. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Microsoft Excel to make a debt snowball spreadsheet and cut years off of your debt repayment. If you don't believe me, take a look at this debt snowball spreadsheet I made for a client earlier this year. If this client would have stuck to the minimum payments, they would have been out of debt in the year 2042. However, utilizing the power and the efficiency of a debt snowball spreadsheet, they went from paying that off in 2042 to paying it off in 2030. Let's open up Microsoft Excel and you can follow me step by step to create your very own debt snowball spreadsheet in Excel. Let's start off in the top left hand corner. I'm going to type in total debt here and then I'm going to go across and I'm going to, we need a column for payment. We need a column for our interest rate because this debt snowball spreadsheet is going to automatically calculate your interest rate to give you a more accurate debt payoff date or debt free date. And then our, we're gonna call it debt one. We're gonna do the same thing, payment, interest, debt two, payment, interest, debt three. We're gonna do one more, payment, interest, debt four. All right, so this debt snowball spreadsheet is going to have four different debts that we are going to look at paying off. Again, incorporating the interest rate into the monthly payments so that it is as accurate as possible. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of things here to kind of even up our columns here. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Again, there we go. Um, I wanted these to be centered and I also wanted them to not go outside the margins of the cell for them. That's why I want centered that way. Got all our debts, we've got all of them nice and even. I'm not used to Excel, I have to save. I'm gonna save this. We're just gonna call it debt snowball example. All right, so I wanna do a formatting thing here where I'm going to freeze the first column and the top two rows so that they stay in place. No matter how much I scroll, I'll always be able to see those. In order to do this, I want to go to B3, click in that cell, and if I hit freeze panes, it should freeze them the top two rows and the first column. So I can scroll over and down and that will stay there. That's really important for putting things in, being able to see the dates and be able to see our interest in total. So I wanna put in the actual date here. So I'm gonna do February of 25. Um, and then below that, I'm gonna put equals E date. I'm going to click on the row above, hit comma and then one, so it adds one to that. And I also need to then format all of these as dates. Format cells. I want a date, and I want mine to be like this. All right, so that then should, I should be able to drag this down. Beautiful, and that is going to fill that in for me. So I'll just drag that down for a while. And again, it's going to just add that up. Um, through the years, once I get to December of one year, it'll automatically start going to January of the next year. So I got that how I wanted it. Next up, we're going to add in our debt information for each of these four debts, the minimum payments, interest rates, and the total amount of debt at the start of making this spreadsheet. Because this is a debt snowball spreadsheet, we're gonna order our debts from the smallest total debt to the largest total debt, regardless of the interest rates. This first one is going to be a $5,000 debt. The payment is going to be 75 dollars and the interest rate is going to be 15 percent so 0.15 so i gotta do a couple things i need to format some of these as percentages format cells we want these to be once again a percentage beautiful for interest so i'm actually going to do that over multiple so if you just select all three of those or do them individually um, it will work. I'm using an Apple, so mine is hit the command button and then select each of those. It's going to do that as interest rates. And then I'm going to do the rest of these as currency. I'm going to format these so they're all centered. Next one is going to be a $200 payment on a 5% interest with a total debt of 10,000. We got a $250 payment, 7% interest on a debt of 15,000, not 15, 15, one, two, three. And the last one is a $600 payment on a 50% interest on $20,000 of debt. 
Um, if you want to, you can add in this spot here for total debt. So I'm just going to hit equal sum. And then click on each of the debt columns. Put in a comma and a parenthesis at the end. I want that this person has $50,000 of total debt. Now we're going to enter in a formula that's going to help us automatically calculate each of the new balances that once we make a minimum payment and is accurate including the interest rate. So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm gonna hit equals. I'm gonna take my total debt. I'm actually gonna put in a parenthesis here. Total debt minus the minimum payment. And then we're going to add back in the interest rate. So I'm gonna do two parentheses. And then I'm going to do again our total amount we owe times our interest rate, parenthesis. And we're gonna divide that number by 12 to give us the monthly. Alright, so I'm going to take that formula. I'm going to try to copy it in for each of these. And it should kind of adjust those formulas over to the right cells and it does. Next step is we're going to pull these down one. And this is the problem that I see a lot of people have with Excel, it is going to do the same where it automatically is going to try to predict that you want to add the next number in the series. So the next number up from 75 is 76. And the next step up from 15% interest apparently to this is 115% interest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little autofill options, and we're going to copy the cells so that it brings the 75 down and the 15% down. Okay, then we're going to drag this down. Again, we're gonna do that same thing. Otherwise, your numbers are gonna look really off and really messed up. And we're gonna do copy cells. Okay, you can see now that this is going to, our, de our debt's getting smaller. Not by a lot, but a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to pull that down until that disappears. All right, which I see is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this. There. Okay, so that one debt will be paid off in February of 2037. I'm going to apply the same things to these other debts. So we'll drag these down. We have to adjust it so it is to copy the cells. Once again... We're going to drag this down until it's paid off. We're going to click copy the cells all the way down. So I'll drag this down. All right, sweet. We're getting to the point where that is paid off. And get rid of those. And I'm going to do that on the next two debts as well. Again, it's very important that you change it from hit that little drop down area to auto format the cells to copy the cells and not fill the next in the series. All right, so I'm going to put a, I'm going to fill all these in green for the ones that are, once it is paid off, just as a nice visual of seeing when all of these debts are paid off. All right, so this person will be debt free in February of 2037. I'm just going to fill that all the way across so we have that visual. February of 2037, that is in 12 years, which is a really long time to pay off $50,000 of debt. We're going to see how using the debt principles of the debt snowball spreadsheet, that's actually going to get paid off a lot faster. So the principles of the debt snowball spreadsheet that say once one debt is paid off, we're going to take that debt and we're going to apply it to the next smallest debt. And in this case, the first debt that gets paid off is actually the largest debt just because of the payment and the interest rate. So what we're going to do is once this debt is paid off, we're going to move this over to this first debt, which is the next smallest debt. And it is getting, that one is actually getting paid off the slowest. So this is going to make a big difference. We're going to change this to uh, $675. And we're going to, once again, drag that down. And again, we've already got it. So it is copying that cell rather than filling the next line in the series. And look how much faster that gets paid off. Getting this paid off here. I'm just going to delete all of that. And now we're taking the $675 and adding it over here for an extra $200, making that $875. Once again, I'm going to drag that down. See where I'm, this one is paid off here. I'm just going to format them green because I like a nice visual when I'm doing make, making my debt payments and using my debt snowball spreadsheet. All right, so we're paid off there, here, and here. Our next step is to add that to 875 and 250 together, which is going to be 1125. I better double check my math. All right, 1125. All right, and we're gonna drag that down until this debt is paid off, which is going to be right here. Format that green. We'll get rid of the rest. So this person now, just using the debt snowball spreadsheet, went from being debt-free in 
February of 2037, just following the minimum payments and doing nothing else, to January of 2030. Went from 12 years down to five years, and they're not adding any extra to their debt repayment. They're just using the principles of the debt small spreadsheet to roll a minimum payment into the next smallest loan. And I don't know about you, but cutting seven years off of my debt repayment is pretty gosh darn awesome. And one thing I'm looking at is this person is now getting $1,125 back into their budget every single month just because they don't have this debt. What would you do if you had $1,125 back in your budget right now every single month until forever? It would probably make a pretty dramatic difference in your finances, the ability to save for things you care about, and feel much less restricted in your budget. So now that you have your debt snowball spreadsheet set up and ready to go, the next step is to make a budget spreadsheet that helps you find extra money to make extra debt payments. And you can set up your budget right now by watching this video.